That incredible scene caught on camera, police bursting through the doors of a business in Colorado, guns drawn on a man playing video games. Officers were looking for an active shooter. What they found was the dangerous hoax called swatting. ABC's Clayton Sandell has the story. I think you're getting swatted. What this morning, doing? police are searching for the 911 caller who brought SWAT teams swarming on this unsuspecting gamer. Get out! Get out! Bursting into this Littleton, Colorado video game company Wednesday, guns drawn as the whole thing streams live online. The caller stated that he had just shot multiple people. Officers, thinking they had an active shooter, set up a perimeter, evacuating businesses, locking down nearby schools. But police now believe it was all a hoax, a disturbing prank called swatting. Take this fake 911 call a couple years ago. I'm going to shoot someone else soon. That one sending cops to Miley Cyrus's front door. Now police say video gamers are making the phony calls to get SWAT teams racing to the homes of their opponents. This is not a game. It's not an online game. We have real guns with real bullets, and there's a potential there for some tragedy. It's becoming so common that Jordan Mathewson, the SWAT E in Wednesday's incident, uh oh, this isn't good, told other players he knew exactly what was happening. I think we're getting swatted. His fellow players watching the incident unfold on Twitch, a site where anonymous spectators can watch video games played in real time. Could have been any one of the thousands of people I were watching. They really liked the, uh, the anonymity of uh, being online and being able to get away with stuff, and they like to test that sometimes. The real caller's identity is still unknown, but police are promising when they find them, it's game over. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver. They just got to stop doing it. Let's hope there are real consequences. This is real life, not a game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.